story. Now, on this uh, International Day of SMEs, we want to stay with the topic of high cost of living. So tonight, we do speak to the Executive Director of the Federation of Small Art and Medium Scale Enterprises, John Walugembe, on how businesses are coping with this situation, which has, of course, left some businesses struggling to stay afloat. For some, there is low demand for their products, and others are closed as we speak as a result of the current economic shocks so tonight we dive into this conversation so you can be part of it on our social media platforms welcome tonight thank you very much for having me here well we did see the government revealing that there would be no new taxes but again right. it will largely depend on tax collection yes. to fund its programs as mm -hmm. smes or businesses mm -hmm. do you think they will still be able to meet their obligations in in the way things are looking it's in this a situation? good gesture it's mm -hmm. a good gesture because it shows that they don't want to burden smes mm -hmm. any further uh, so we believe that if they improve compliance that mm -hmm. should be able to fill the gaps obviously we are assuming that the pandemic has not done much harm Mm. to the existing tax base because if that is the case then it means you're working from a weak assumption but i think overall we are happy with the approach of saying we shouldn't introduce taxes why because smes have go been going through a crisis for the past two years and at a time when we thought we would recover we now have the current challenge of inflation and high commodity and fuel prices well yes. there is there, there is a section of uh, the business community that believes mm. Uh, yes, the, the, the initiative or the mm. gesture of uh, not introducing new taxes was mm. good. Mm. But again, with the current state of events in the country, mm. they should have probably reduced taxes on mm. that are currently imposed mm. on their products. What do you have to say about that? Well, that's a suggestion which government has rejected. Uh, personally, I thought that maybe the Is it something as a federation you would have wanted, for example? In some areas, mm -hmm. in some areas, because you see, uh, sectors have been affected differently. Yes. So offering some form of tax relief would not be a bad idea, because mm -hmm. the after effects of the pandemic are still subsisting. So if there's a way you can offer these businesses certain uh, cosmetic kind of tax relief, that would be that would be okay. Because there's a limit also to which government can not collect taxes, mm -hmm. you know, because we have a limited fiscal space. We have a lot of investment to make in terms of infrastructure and social sectors and so on. So we understand government's position, but we also understand the position of those who say, please reduce the taxes. Mm -hmm. Government says, okay, where do I get the money? I say, cut down on expenditure, spend less. Yeah. Instead of a 48 trillion budget, bring us a 43 trillion budget. Then the 5 trillion we can use to help people go through the current crisis. Now, I know most businesses mm. are struggling either, you know, for some mm. they will tell you, you know, we no longer have demand for mm. our project, so we, mm. are, we are really scared of, of how we're going to fund mm. our businesses. Mm. I, for one, I, I, I know for a fact that it mm. is very hard in this e economy to get sub, uh, customers. customers for yeah. your products. Yeah. Now, from where you see it as a federation, which mm. ones are, would you point out and say these ones are really struggling the most? No, I think we must appreciate that the tourism sector. No, every time you have a crisis, yeah, which leads to low demand, like we had with the pandemic and the uh, and the closures, and then you have a crisis like inflation. Mm -hmm. It means that customers are not willing to spend. If they have money, they direct that money to the most critical activities, to the necessities. Yes. So if you're in entertainment, if you're in tourism, for instance. Those take the back seat. Now, mind you, these sectors have been hit the hardest. You know, so those sectors that have to do with entertainment, any sector that is looked at by consumer as luxurious or something they can do away with, clothes, whatever. You know, yes, they will just prioritize the basics: food, mm -hmm. going to hospital, taking your children to school, and and so on. So it means that SMEs in particular sectors will continue feeling the squeeze. And remember that some of the credit relief measures that Bank of Uganda had put in place yeah. for businesses in these sectors have expired. So it means that these businesses have been left out to dry. So now I want us to speak solutions, you know, mm. uh, on the side of the government, for example, I am mm. sure it knows what is currently happening. Yes. So let us speak solutions. What should the government do? And also as an SME back at home, what should the they government be doing? cannot do much, at the unfortunately, moment. because this crisis is external. Yes. And when we complain, 
these complaints are the same globally. If you go to the U.S., if you go to the U.K. right now, because it's a crisis of a global nature, mm -hmm. the high inflation. Mm -hmm. So government's hands are tied, and you must tell SMEs, you know, there's a limit to which you can push government. During COVID, as a federation, we pushed, put a stimulus fund, do this, because we knew government had the leeway some. It was limited, but it could do something. Yes. In this particular case, mm -hmm. government cannot provide subsidies for a prolonged period. It's just not possible. Yes. It cannot provide tax breaks for a prolonged period. That's why I'm saying, please offer some taxes cosmetically to make people happy mm -hmm. that government cares, you know. But we must also tell the SMEs, don't expect much. No, it, it, and it, SMEs should not, because SMEs can sit there and say, our oh, journey is compromised. What? No, we are telling you the truth. Because even if it was me, even if it was her, you'd be facing the same kind of scenario. Now, in just a few seconds as we conclude this conversation, International Day of SMEs, what does it mean to you? This day is a day when we celebrate S the hardworking SMEs who have been going through a lot of hell. Some mm -hmm. have closed and are seated and have given up hope. And we are saying don't give up hope. Go and start a new business. Things are tough. But when things are tough, it's also a time for opportunity. True. You know, so you shouldn't feel sorry for yourself. You shouldn't keep blaming everyone. Find an opportunity and leverage it. And as a federation, we are there to support you. There are also entities that are there to support you. Please reach out to us. Thank you so much for joining us here on NTV tonight. And uh, this conversation is also on our social media platform. So what do you think at the moment? How do we work together with the government to ensure that all small and medium enterprises actually stay afloat?